Praise the Lord, everybody. I hope everybody is well. It's been a while since I have been on here. But um, I am so happy to just come with a short, short word um, this evening. Um, just something God kind of just released on my heart to kind of share. And so that's what I'm going to do. But before I get in this word, I really just want to take the time and just pray. I like to kind of always pray because it kind of, God kind of gives me direction on which way to flow and which way to go. Um, this message may not be for everybody, but it, but it could be a message for everybody, if that makes sense. A timely message or um, something that's just in the midst at the right time. Um, so let's get into it. Um, Father, we just thank you, God, for who you are, God. You are God of living water, Lord. And I ask, Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, that you open up the eyes of our heart. Open our heart to hear you, our eyes to see you. Give us not only um, sight to see you, but vision and insight, God. And Lord, we just thank you for who you are. You are truly God of living waters, Lord. Live through us, God. Breathe in us, God. And overflow in us, God. Use our lives for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, So I'm sitting here and just meditating on God's word. And there was something that really came in my spirit strong. And this is what I heard the Lord say. I heard the Lord say, finish strong. Finish strong. Finish the race. You know, if you look around in the world that we're living in today, it's so much chaos going on and so many things going on, not even in the world, but even in the kingdom too. And, and there are so many things that we can't see that's happening all around us. Just as much things are going on in the um, soulless realm is happening here in the natural realm as well. And what I realize is that when times get hard and when times seem like they're just like when it's when we're seeing like we're in a place of despair that is not the time to give up that's the time to keep going and as human beings that can really be easy and um easy to really just throw in the towel and want to just walk away there's even times where we could just be discouraged like there's been days where i've been discouraged like we all have been there but remember one thing you have to still keep running in the race and i just think that's so important so i want to read you guys something um that kind of stood out to me, something that the Lord showed me, okay? And I'm coming right now, I'm coming from Zephan Zephaniah, Zephaniah uh, three, chapter 3, um, verse 14. This is what it says. It says, sing for joy, daughter Zion. Shout loudly, Israel. Be glad and celebrate with all your heart, daughter Jerusalem. It says, the Lord has removed your punishment. He has turned back your enemy. The king of Israel, the Lord, is among you. You, no you need no longer fear him. On that day, it will be said to Jerusalem. Do not fear, Zion. Do not let your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is among you, a warrior who saves. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will be quiet in his love. He will delight in you with singing. And then it says, I will gather those who have been driven from the points and festivals. Um, they will be a tribute from you and a reproach on her. Yes, at that time, I will deal with all those who oppress you. I will save the lame and gather the outcasts. I will make those who are disgraced throughout the earth receive praise and fame. And it says, at that time, I will bring you back. Yes, at that time, I will gather you and I will gather you, gather you fame and praise. I will give you fame and praise among the peoples of the earth. When I restore your fortunes before your eyes, the Lord has spoken. So even in times when you feel like the Lord has forgotten about you or you're in the season where you just don't know what to do, <laughs> God is already writing the chapter. He's already writing what he's going to have for you to do in that season, whether it's to to go forth in something that he has already promised you or whether it's even just to rest. Sometimes God will just allow you to rest just like myself. Like I honestly was expecting to work this summer, but that did not work out for me this summer. Um, although we, my husband and I, we have a company and I work with him sometimes, but I really wanted to just, just go to work. And, and I don't know, but God said, no, you, you need to rest. So I am home and I'm enjoying my home and thanking God for it. Um, it's, it's a blessing. Um, so in them times when you feel like you just don't know what to do or where to turn, just know you're not alone. Um, God, he's still writing the story. It's, it's not over. Um, and I want, to, I want to read something to you guys, too. Here's something else that really stood out to me also. Because it's easy to want to throw in the towel. It's easy to want to give in. But you can't throw in the towel now. We, we've come too far. What would be the point of running this race this far just to give up now? You know, sometimes we have got to learn how to learn how to defeat discouragement. And learn how to, when we get like that, to continue to give God glory and praise. Because even through it all, it's all just a test. God wants to know how you're going to be um, in seasons of blessings and seasons of when you're just still and resting. 
because regardless of what season that you're in, um, one thing like my husband always said, learn to be content with whatever place you're in. Um, but this, this is the one I wanted to read to y'all. It's um, Philippians. Let me make sure I got the right script, guys. I think it was Philippians 1 and 21. It says, uh, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. It says, now if, if I live on in the flesh, this means fruitful work for me. And I don't know which one I should choose. I'm torn between the two. I long to depart and be with Christ, which is far better. But to remain in the flesh is more necessary for your sake. Since I am persuaded of this, I know that I will remain and continue with all of you for your progress and joy in the faith. So that because of coming to you, your boasting in Christ, Jesus may abound. And there's something else that stood out to me too, y'all. Listen to this. This, this is the part that stood out to me too. If I can find it, I just had it. Because I'm telling you, we it, it's easy to just <laughs> give up and just be like, you know, whatever. But if you just hang in there and if you just trust God, I'm telling you, God can do more with your life and more with your situation and more where you at in your season than what you can do in, in one day in one minute, okay? But then I was thinking about this too. Um, let me see what I want to read to you guys. Mm, where is it at? I had it. Oh yeah, here it is. To here, just here are some scriptures. Um, Philippians three and fourteen says, "I press to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Jesus Christ, is calling us." Then Second Timothy of four and seven says, "I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, and I have remained faithful." God is looking for those who are remaining faithful. He's looking for those who are, um, who, 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 no matter what state of mind we're in, he was looking for those who are still running in the race. If you stop running the race, what's the point of running all this time? You know, you worshiping, you glorifying God, you telling people about Jesus. And then one day, all of a sudden you just get tired and, and we all get tired because we all have a flesh, but now is not the time to throw in a towel. Now is the time we really have to, we really have to really, really as a body, pray more, fast more intercede more because it's so much stuff going on and i would say in all things also is to guard your heart because the way this is it's just so much wickedness everywhere guard your heart guard your mind you guard your heart with the word guard your mind with the word listen to worship music get get around from negativity and and and, and toxic things or toxic people toxic conversation because the enemy he's only looking for that small crack and if he get that small crack that's going to be his assets for him to get in. Okay. So just be, I would say, be mindful of conversations, be mindful of what you attach yourself to be mindful of your atmosphere. It's like right now I'm listening to this um, thing on YouTube and it's called, uh, the name of this is called, it says atmosphere changer. Let me see if I can switch my screen. But anyway, you can kind of see it. It says atmosphere changer and it's a worship instrumental. And I just would kind of sitting here just kind of listen to it and really just, um, meditating on it and stuff. But I will say this, I will encourage you to, to seek God and, and, and search for him and, and, you know, with all your heart, because those are the ones that he's looking for. Those, regardless of what's going on in life, the ones that are still praising him, the one of still, who, the ones who are still talking to him and spending time with him. Those are the true worshipers that he's looking for. The ones who are not afraid, um, to tell the devil off or to rebuke a spirit. Because I realized that when you're living for Christ, you have to be for the things that God is for, and you have to be against the things he's against, even if it's your own sin. I don't want nobody to tell me that I'm doing something right when I know it's wrong. I need a brother and sister to convict me, to rebuke me when I am wrong. And so um, with that said, I encourage everybody, stay in the race, finish strong. When it feels like you're going to be about to give up, when it feels like things are just not happening for you, keep praying, keep singing. Keep fasting. Keep reading. Call that brother and sister in Christ to pray for you. Call the mothers of the church, you know, to intercede, the pastor, whoever. But most importantly, call on Jesus. You know, and like my husband always says, have, have you had a conversation with Jesus? And so that's the quick word that I want to bring to you guys. Just know that um, <clears throat> your walk is it, not in vain. It's not in vain. One day we're going to stand before God and he's going to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Well done, daughter. Well done, son. You may enter in. Those are the words that I, I believe that I'm going to hear one day. I believe that you're going to hear one day. And always have a heart of repentance. Always love. Always do what's right. 
you know, and I, I find that, you know, like I said, fasting is very good to do because when you're fasting, you know, those things that shouldn't be in you, those things are kind of just burnt off of you. They're burnt off of you. And because a lot of times we can walk around in chains and shackles. That's the enemy himself because the enemy only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants you to stay in a place of stuff. He wants you to stay in a place of discontentment. That's who he is. He wants you to be so stressed out and not sleeping at night that you don't know which way to turn or what to do. He wants you to try to take matters in your own hand without relying on God. But that is not the way. That's the wrong way. And all things, seek God. Seek his kingdom first and everything else will be added to you. Seek the kingdom of God. Seek Jesus. You know, and then those are the things I realized that before any and everything, God has got to come first. Not your job, not a position, not a title, not your kids, not your spouse. God has got to be number one in your life. God is far. He has to be first and foremost in your life above all things else. So I want to just encourage you guys tonight to just give God the glory, give him the glory, give him the honor that's due unto his name because he is a good God. He's glorious. And in spite of what you may be going through right now, God is still good. He's always been good from the very beginning. He has never left us. He has never forsaken you. He's always been good. So I pray that the Lord will bless you guys, that he will um, comfort you, that he will um, be there for you. Um, and and like I said, stay prayed up. These are some evil and wicked times, evil and wicked times. You got a lot of wicked things out there. Stay prayed up and seek God. And I pray that you guys will be blessed and that you guys get everything that he has for you in Jesus name. Be blessed.